Hello, and happy International Tolkien Reading Day. My name is Elizabeth S. Tyree. I am the proprietress of Here There Be Dragons. I am also the author of the Stone Dragon Saga series, which you can find on Amazon, Kindle, and CreateSpace. Shameless plug! Um, the Hobbit is my absolute favorite book. I read it for the first time in third grade, and um, today is just a wonderful day. It was started to be able to take Tolkien and just integrate him more into the school libraries and library reading groups, etc., um, so that kids in the new generations can have that integration with the Middle Earth fantasy series. Um, and my daughter is 19 months old and doesn't want me to read to her. She won't sit still long enough for me to tell her what a hobbit is. If it's not Curious George, it ain't right. So I decided to make my very first video blog and just read you a couple of paragraphs out of my first big girl novel. All right. In a hole in the ground there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell. Nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. I have often thought that I would want to live in a hobbit hole. I prefer hobbit holes, I think. When I was little, I told my dad I wanted to live in a cave. It's basically the same thing, but nicer. Alright, here is the song that the dwarfs sing at their first meeting with Bilbo. Chip the glasses and crack the plates, blunt the knives and bend the forks. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. Smash the bottles and burn the corks. Cut the cloth and tread on the fat. Pour the milk on the pantry floor. Leave the bones on the bedroom mat. Splash the wine on every door. Dump the crocks in a boiling bowl. Pound them up with a thumping pole. When you've finished, if any are whole, send them down the hall to roll. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. So carefully, carefully with the plates. Okay, thank you for bearing with me for the whole two minutes it took to get that out. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and if you'll look at the rest of the blog, I have some links for you for the Tolkien Society. It explains more about how this started in 2003, and then a couple of links to another blog that has some great facts about Tolkien and about um, just some different books and quotes from different people. So they're fabulous, you're fabulous, and I hope you have a fabulous day.